There is a revolution happening in the farm fields and on the dining tables of Nigerians. A revolution that is transforming the very nature of food we eat to a more viable one such as rice planted on 125 hectares of Ramos Guana farms at Ila, Oshimili North Delta State. Farming portends a needed transition out of the current economic oil monetary paradigm which governs the Nigerian society. The farm transcend the issues of complete dependence on oil. Rice grows in a wide range of environments and is productive in many situations where other crops would fail. Rice growing environment are based on the hydrological characteristic and includes irrigated, rain-fed, lowland and rain-fed upland. Depending on the soil, and you ensure that the soil has sufficient water. Not too much, or you lose it. Once again, agriculture is it. And let's look at rice. We say we eat rice all the time. We eat rice with stew, we eat rice with palm oil, and I want my producer as well. Oh my god, you like your rice? I <laughs> love rice with all stuff, okay? Palm oil, put pepper, small pepper, onions, I'll eat it. But rice is my favorite food. Right. So it's my pleasure to be here and to witness the planting of my favorite food, rice. Okay, I think this is a privilege because I've never witnessed the mechanized method of planting and I was also part of the planting process. The circle of rice is 190 days and the harvest season lasts for about 30 days in mid-September to October. The process itself begins with leveling rolling and preparing the field, flooding, and dropping the seed and fertilizing. The Ramos Guana farm is into large-scale cultivation of rice at a la on the land allocated by Benin Owena River Basin Development Authority. The biggest rice farm in Delta State occupying a landmass of 125 hectares was mechanized affairs, making preparation and planting faster and safer. The chairman of the farm, Barrister Ramos Guana, takes us through the process of planting rice in a mechanized and manual method. What you have not seen is a, a mechanized planting of uh, okay. rice. Uh, the truth is that you can mechanize many things. You can mechanize cassava, you can mechanize maize, you can mechanize beans, you can mechanize so many things. The job on aspects. You know, but not everybody has the capacity to go to this level. Yes. That's why we have these peasant and subsistence farmers. Yes. Therefore, if a man wants to do rice planting but not at the mechanized level, he, 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 he can still succeed. The machines came, they were planting rice. Okay. Now I said the man will still, will still succeed. But the only challenge he has is that there's a lot of uh, uh, time, wasting. time wasting, a lot of drudgery, manpower, 
and a lot of persons are involved and you also in, save money in manual planting for every person you bring to your farm to plant you pay if i was going to cultivate one hectare of rice farm manually i need minimum of 15 persons on this farm okay. because so all the ropes so that the lines are straight or near straight others will be tipping the, the, the soil and other sets will be planting but as we stand here in less than 20 minutes we have done five rows of 16 16 rows each okay. so we have 70 rows just now standing here before we finish the interview i'm sure the man will have finished one hectare and we will have proceeded to, to the next hectare these 35 seeds you get from farmers that are registered with the National Seed Rules and the Federal Seed Council. If you buy rice seeds from any other place, from a source that is not registered with the National, national Seed Rules, you may not be buying uh, rice from anywhere. At the end, you cannot uh, guarantee the yield, you know, upon others. But this, this seeds come with a certification that uh, uh, it's about 96 uh, percent. percent. Yes, you get 96 percent germination when you okay. use this seeds. And that is the deal. What you're going to do? You just plant and leave it like this, or there are other things you should do to ensure the growth? No, I, I've applied MPK today. Okay. In the next four days, the rice will start to sprout. Okay. After two weeks, I'll apply mm -hmm. Rhea. Mm -hmm. After another two weeks, again, I'll apply Rhea. Mm -hmm. The only is just to maintain the field. Mm -hmm. You know, check weeds. Water. No, no, that's why the rain, extra water, you just get it from the rain yes. and the soil is kind of humid. Yes. Okay. So the season determines the planting. No, no, you can do rice three times in a year. Mm -hmm. Once you can get the soil. Okay. On his visit to the rice farm, the chief of staff, a government house and protocol masaba, Dr. Festa Sokubo and John Daltons to tap into the enormous agricultural potential of the state to create wealth and jobs for youths. A commended barrister, Remus Guana, for venturing into the agricultural sector. Planting of rice entails the mechanized and manual process. The mechanized process using a seed drill machine can plant rice and fertilize in insisting rows at a time. Sprouting occurs four days after planting. The Faro 44 CP type of rice was selected to fit the swampy environment. The labor will call it a rice planter. Mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, two functions. It can plant rice and at the same time also apply fertilizers. It has two compartments. Compartment A is for rice. This compartment is for fertilizer. When the tractor starts to move, it turns this thing around and these uh, plows will open up the, the soil. The rice will drop from this hose. The fertilizer will drop from the other side. Okay. It's planted and it's covered. What do you need about this fertilizer? Hmm? What do you need about this particular choice of fertilizer? Why the choice of fertilizer? So why the choice of fertilizer? Why the choice of the NPK fertilizer? Any any farmer that knows what he's doing mm. applies first MPK. Okay. 
if you don't apply MPK first, what will happen? You don't apply the real first. What happens? No, it's not, I, I'm not so taught to apply it that way. I'm taught that the first real, the first thing to apply is the MPK. Okay. Rice comes to 25 kg. Okay. What we do, we use 200 kg of fertilizer per hectare. Okay. And we use uh, because we are drilling, we are using steel drill, okay. uh, which saves your your rice seeds. We are doing 75 kg per hectare. Okay. okay so now, right here, three bags okay. of 25 kg, okay. 75 okay. per hectare, and 200 kg of MPK. Okay. Okay. Certified rice, rice seeds. These are for planting. You can't eat them. You can't do anything with them. It's only for for planting. Pedimethylene yeah. and Orizo Plus herbicides are applied to kill weeds, and MPK and Rhea fertilizers are applied while planting rice to aid healthy growth of rice. Now, because while they mechanical, some people will also do manual. And in doing manual planting, you can dig and plant the rice, or you do what they call broadcasting. Broadcast means just throw it around. Okay, broadcast, broadcasting. Broadcast, just throw it around <laughs> your farm, okay. uh, believing that some will survive and some will not survive. And that is broadcasting. But if you want to follow the right way of getting people to all ropes and lines and plant for you is still possible you know so those, so those, so those, those, those are the, the method now if you are planting mechanically you are doing precision farming because the machine has been calibrated to drop the particular number of rice seeds per hole uh, if it is six it is calibrated to drop it will drop six and no more than six if it is seven it is seven and no more than seven so you can do your arithmetic to say for one hectare, I'm uh, calibrating at this level. I'm going to use this number of kg of back rice uh, seeds for this place. But with the manual, it is not possible. For you are broadcasting, you can't be so sure of what you are going to get in return. If you are even doing the one they call dibbling, the one people use, so at times they will put four seeds, to one, at times eight, because they are human beings, they want to finish in time. They can put ten, they can put twenty in one place. You can never get it right. But with this machine, it's perfect. Okay, like this it's machine, how many does it it's drop? It's calibrated at a time? to drop eight. Okay. I cannot put more than eight, I cannot put less than eight. Okay. Pa, pa, oh. So, the whole idea behind marrying many wives because of farming. You know, those days, the old men, most of them married many wives because they, they can help out on the farm. Yes, in the farm. I, I don't want to believe it. The men were just, they just did them more wives. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, if you say you were marrying so that your wife should bring children, you have to wait for at least six years <laughs> for these children. So, so in that, what will you do in six years? So you're, you're, you're going to teach us how to do the manual well, one it's, now? It's, it's easy, just okay. easy. Are you going to broadcast it? Uh, so you do the I can do deep, both for you. Deep and if, if you want to broadcast, it's easy. That is, that is broadcasting. That is broadcasting. Okay. Anything that comes out, comes out. You know, but if you want to... Not a 50-50 chance. If you want to, to plant, you just... What I was digging a small hole like this. Okay. And you plant, and you cover. You dig. Broadcasting, you don't even cover, you just throw it. No, and you plant and you cover. You dig, you plant and you cover. Okay. And the fertilizers? You see the it, problem you now? Added, you don't have to now, most of the people who do this kind of planting do not apply fertilizers in situ, not instantly. They do not, they, they can, ah, will they do it? Okay. How many workers are they to get? So they, they can't they, even measure it, can they even do the measurement they cannot, to put in? They cannot. So it's a challenge. So most of them, or some of them, after planting, after planting, they broadcast. Okay. Yeah, MPK. Okay. Which to me <laughs> is not supposed to be your MPK is supposed to be buried 
in the soil with your own. Trekking through 125 hectares of the rice farm, inspecting the presentation of a month to two months old rice wasn't an easy task. More farm implements indeed are needed to speed up rice planting and cultivation. It is amazing to observe that the Ramos Guana farm is a sole effort. However, the Delta State Government support is needed as it will serve as a means of job creation and a good economic boost. Men say this local is get for uh, maize cultivation. You move from that one to another one, say this local is for young cultivation. This one is for plantain, I'm sure, with that kind of policy. Okay, so how often um, do you have to um, water the farm? The good thing about rice is that once you plant it, it has taken off from the ground. You don't need to, to, to water it. The only time you need to irrigate rice, if you are doing dry season irrigation, the irrigation uh, farming, okay. uh, by the grace of God, by the time this, uh, the this thing comes, sprinkler irrigation. comes to work, we can plant here in the dry season. But for now, we can only use this period from uh, May to September. I hope you didn't take that. Uh, as to what issues we are likely to have or we are with uh, cattle rearers, one thing we did, once we got a uh, location from the Binia Wena, I will started planting. We rose to the Binia Wena River Basin Agency. That we have started cultivation, we started planting rice. We want for them to make sure that cattle rearers do not come here. Okay. We send a copy of the letter to the Commissioner of Police. We copy the letter of SSS. We copy the uh, Arawa community. We copy the SSG's office at the Ministry of Agriculture and Natural Resources in Asaba for them to know that we have taken all these steps. Because you see, 80 hectares of land, if a head of cattle comes here, they will do tremendous damage. To it. We also inform the community, the Ila community, because normally I hear that cattle don't go to any community unless the communities give them approval. I also told okay. them that this is what we are doing. But the good thing is, since we started planting, they've not come near this area at all. We want to believe that our letters are working and it will work until we 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 harvest. Government at any level, federal, state, or local government support all with farm implements, tractors, arrows, plows, planters, moon sprayers, of, um, and improved seedlings. Of course, yeah, we can do the right things on our own. Like, like I said earlier on, the federal government and the state government partnering together under the GSS scheme is giving each farmer one bag of urea and one bag of MPK. Okay. I have on this farm used more than 200 bags of MPK. I'm going to use about 200 bags Again, of Uria, all the Fadala requirement and good is about almost 4 million naira. And federal government is going to, and state government will combine them itself to give you 150 kg of. Uh, I, 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 I do every day, I plant minimum of 12 bags of uh, rice, or 55 kg rice every day. Wow. You know, every day. You, you saw we have done about 13 so this 12 month bags will cover how many hectares? Uh, 75 kg per. Per, per hectare. Now, the federal government and the state government will join themselves to give you one bag of 25 kg. Therefore, I, I agree that the GESS scheme is a starting uh, a point, but the, it, the scheme just now only addresses peasant subsistence farmers. They have not addressed farmers like us okay. who are into large scale. Therefore, if they if they can identify us across the country, those people who are into large scale farmers, okay, you are doing 100 hectares of rice, you need this number of uh, kilogram of rice and uh, fertilizers because we are doing half for other farmers who also do half for you. So instead of me to pay for 300 bags of uh, MPK, I pay for 150. And they give me 150. They told me they pay for 100 bags of urea. I pay for 50. If I come in and they take them, they give me 50. Instead of me to buy all the seeds I'm buying, I've told that I bought seeds, rice seeds, of almost close to 2 million naira. Okay. Let them support us like that. We're buying herbicides. You know, we're buying wood control uh, herbicides. 
uh, to the tune of almost almost three billion now. Okay. These are the areas we want the government to support us. It doesn't have to be cash. But if you give us these things, give we are gonna find these items, okay, we'll give you tractors, we'll give you planters, we're we'll supporting you with investors, we're we'll supporting you with um, fertilizers. Of course we'll run with them. And we'll be willing to to, to to join the state government if we can do this one without their support. But that will partner with the state government. We can do much more than this. That that, that is when the the thing will actually work. It will that make sense then. That's the Rosgona Farm is partnering with the Dassey government. But I'm believing that after some time, the, the government will be inclined to support us on this farm. Broadcasting rice or digging and planting rice seedlings, methods of manual process, indeed, is a difficult and slow process compared to the mechanized process using the seed drill machine. Well, what you can see behind me, it's not a weed, the, I mean, it is rice, okay, a rice of about a month old, and we know very soon it will start to shoot. This farm is Remus Guana Rice Farm, located at Ila, given by Benin Owena Basin. And to tell you what, the farm is over 80 hectares, about 125 hectares and it's not easy to walk through we've been going through to actually ascertain when a particular rice um, uh, when the rice is planted because for each area you find that um, some rice are planted for about two weeks some are about a month old and some are about five weeks old but, but what are we talking about would say farming is it agriculture it's is it okay if you think um it's very important for us to go into white color job and ignore agriculture then you just you just have to do a rethink because if you start to reaping it you'll be sure that you will never lack so if we are thinking of staying away from dependent on a white color job and oil the only answer is for you to go into farming and farming is not just all about rice farming but today we actually looked at the planting of rice how we can plant rice from the mechanized uh, method to the manual method and manual method you can broadcast it or you can do digging and planting but it's very difficult but with the mechanized it's a lot easier and this we saw uh, right here at the Remus uh, guana farm. If you want to try it, you can try and plant in rice and see what it's like. And if you love rice, it's better for you to try and know uh, all about what it takes to plant rice. To if you think it's easy, uh, try it because you have to know all about what it entails to grow rice and then to invest it is another. For Gordon Ride, G. Wilson reporting.